Here's some troubleshooting tips for some of the most common issues streamers face. There's nothing more frustrating when you start streaming than running into problems you don't know how to fix. Like with most skills, streaming takes time and practice to become better at. Audio can quickly become an issue for new streamers. One of the most common audio problems is encountering looping of audio echo. One of the most common causes of this problem is due to opening the stream in a browser window and not muting the audio. If you still hear an echo, be sure to check if listen to device is enabled on your microphone. You can disable this in the Windows sound settings menu. We've tried to make capturing your PC games as easy as possible with automatic game source detection. If Auto Game Source is unable to capture PC games, make sure you aren't running other programs that interfere with XSplit's game capture. Some of these programs include NVIDIA Shadow Play and AMD's Radeon ReLive. Everyone dreads a Windows update that breaks their capture card or tanks their in-game FPS. However, there are some ways to avoid this. If you go into your Windows Update settings, you can enable additional prompts and even allow updates to be delayed. This is useful to give you a buffer when a major update is released, so you can check your streaming software or capture card has been updated to ensure compatibility with the latest Windows updates. Speaking of driver updates, Nvidia offers a creator series of drivers. These differ from their game-ready drivers as they go through more rigorous testing with a variety of applications used by creators to ensure stability and performance. This is especially useful if you use the NVEC encoder for your streaming or recording. If you have been using video or image sources in your scenes, you may have noticed that it takes longer to switch these scenes. You are seeing this delay if XSplit has to load large files before switching to a scene. To remove this delay, right-click on the file in the source menu and click on Keep Source in Memory. It is also recommended to compress source file sizes by encoding them as MP4s or WebMs instead of AVI or MOV. Seeing drop frames increased is always stressful because you know your viewers aren't having a good experience. If you see drop frames, try to lower your bitrate. In XSplit Broadcaster, click on the Broadcast menu and right-click on your broadcast. A window will pop up where you can adjust the bitrate. If that doesn't work, make sure that you or someone on your network isn't uploading a large file as sites like Google Drive or Dropbox won't limit the upload bandwidth they use. If the issue persists, try to call your ISP to see if there are any issues with your line. If you know that your bandwidth can fluctuate, it's recommended to enable adaptive bitrate. You can find this in the additional encoding options menu in the broadcast settings window. What issues did you have when you first started streaming? Let us know in the comments and we'll see if we can help.